All right, gamers, welcome back for another single mastery act one playthrough. Today, we focus on Nidan mastery. You guys know what to do. Come up here and save the horse. Save the horse. Nice job. Make your way to town. Pick up the quest. Hello, stranger. Sell your dagger. Going out buy four potions. Goodbye, my friend. Get a free torch on the on the bridge. Oh no! Oh, there it is. Torch. Give me torch. What's to say? Give me torch. All right, guys. You want to full clear this area? Try to be level two before shaman. All right, gamers. Uh, don't forget to open this box. It's uh, free potions. Free potions. Look at that. And we're about to be level two. Once you hit level two, we're going to focus on Nidan Mastery. Our build's mostly going to consist of Dragon's Flame and Shen Pao. With some flavor here, we might... We're going to pick up Huang Di's favor. One point here for the Shaman. So one point. This is your left-click replacer. And then two points in the bar. Again, we're going to we're gonna climb the bar for Dragon's Flame. This is our AoE early on. This is even more AoE later. Okay, gamers, up here's the Shaman. We got plenty of satyrs to kill real quick. Go ahead and single target those down. All right, gamers, here's the Shaman. Still got a few satyrs to kill. You can force him over towards the regen shrine, just like uh, making his back aim towards it. Click on the shrine and you're safe. Good to go. All right, once you're done looting, go ahead and pick up uh, your items and we can port back to town with the unstuck button. Okay, gamers, before moving on, you want to sell all the items that you're not going to use. Until next time. Uh, we're going to use stabs on this mastery. I have some plans to do so. Once we move on, you guys want to full clear this area. Be level three before going to the cave. Plenty of XP to get here. No problem. Oh, nice. Move speed. Nice. It's only 7%, but of travel. Nice. Just get move speed. Nice job, gamers. Nice. Level three acquired gamers. Okay, again, we're just going to climb the bar because we want to get to Dragon's Flame. Two points in the bar, one point in Dragon Flame. Put Dragon Flame on your, on your bar and it's time to go. Time to slam. Oh, also right now we're level three, so any items you get from the Shaman you should be able to equip right now, unless it's strength. Uh, before going into the cave, you want to activate this fountain here. We can use the unstuck button when we're done just to pour it out. Saves a bit of time. All right, gamers, here's some uh, quest-related monsters. We got their purpley and glowy. Uh, just blow them up, pick up the loot, save the man. Once you're done looting, we can port out with the unstuck button. Continue on up the path. Nice job, gamers. Yo, just kill some birds. Killing birds. All right, YouTube, here's the next side quest. This man's being attacked by some satyrs. We'll help him out a little bit, get some XP. Oh, nice. Big XP. Nice job, guys. Moving on. Here it is. Yes. <laughs> Did you see how much XP I got for that? All right, gamers. Uh, we hit level four. We're just going to keep climbing Dragon's Flame for more AoE damage. Big damage. Uh, here's the next side quest. Before moving on to the left are some skeletons. Uh, we've got plenty of AoE, so this shouldn't be a problem. Big damage. Big damn. Look at him burn. Hey, we did it though. Oh, hello? <laughs> hello? Trout of Eternal Night? You guys see that? All right, gamers. Traveler, please. This guy's asking you to clear the path. It's blocked by some satyrs and a brute. Kill him. Time to kill him. Yo, nice. Good slam. All right, this next area, you guys want to full clear. Again, we want to be level five by the time getting uh, to Sparta. There's plenty of XP to get here. A side quest is coming up. Just kill the monsters. All right, down here is the, uh, another side quest. This guy knows it's dangerous. He'll send you into this cave. we got to recover his necklace. Here's the demon that's got the necklace. Little bastard. Bye. Kill the demon. Get the necklace. Nice job. The necklace! Oh! Nice. Level five acquired. Again, we're just going dragon flame. This is gonna carry. All right, gamers, here's the next fountain. Up to the right-hand side is a big skeleton encampment. Uh, potentially lots of XP. There's also a shrine that could spawn here. Uh, I did not get lucky. Get lucky. 
think I missed some, huh? Big packs here, boys. Big packs. <laughs> oh, yes. Dude, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage, boys. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! All right, gamers, here we are in Sparta. There's the main quest to pick up. And a brute to give us a hug. All right, make sure you activate the portal in the fountain. There's two vendors here. Down the path, there's a side quest to pick up. Okay, once we're ready to leave town, we want to full clear this. Uh, it's nice to be level 6 before fighting the centaur Nessus in the woods. All righty, here we are. Here's Hippias. This this guy just wandered off. Don't worry, he's okay. Clearing monsters, boys. Oh, nice. Nice. Level 6 acquired. All right, again, we're just slamming points into Dragon's Flame. All right, gamers. Here we are. It's time for the boss. Okay, this, this guy only has one attack that's maybe scary. Uh, pull him out here so he's away from his adds. Uh, he does a bleed attack. There it is. You can back away from it if you want. Otherwise, you should be okay to just face tank it. Nice. Just a few flames later. A uh, few flames later and he's dead. Nice. Captain Shield. Just get it. <laughs> okay, once you guys are done looting, go back to Sparta, turn in some quests, and we can continue. Once you're back in town, sell your equipment, pick up your side quests, turn in your quests. This quest here is cool because it gives you a skill point. Uh, just push your last one in Dragon's Flame, and we can move on. All right, here we are in the Spartan Highlands, just killing some satyrs. Group them all up and unleash your breath. That hot, hot breath. Look at this. Ah. All right, gamers, down below is the Mycenaean Ruins. Big XP from the Skeletons. Oh, speaking of XP, just get an XP Shrine. Nice. Pull them all and use your hot breath. Uh. <laughs> Hold on. This, this is going to be a giga breath. Uh. <laughs> Dude, look at that XP. <laughs> look at my XP. Uh. Oh, dude, so good. Nice. Inside this tomb, you can run, come across the first encounter of a captain. A captain buffs its friendlies with fire and burn damage. Can be very dangerous. Oh, here's the captain. Look, fire damage. Look. Ah! Kill the captain. Ah! Yeah, we leveled up. Easy. Just level up. Okay, last point in Dragon's Flame. Now we climb bar straight for Shen Pao. All right, gamers, here we are, next village. This is the village of Tegea. We got a vendor here. Off to the left is the fetid lair where the side quest is. Uh, down to the right is a tomb full of undeads and a mage hero monster we can farm. Um, this area, you want to be level uh, 8 before you leave. Level 8 is important because you get to choose a second mastery. Uh, we're not going to do that in this guide. We're going to stick with Nidan, but you guys can feel free to move on to the next mastery at level 8. Feels good. This is a good place to farm. Oh, nice. All all items that... Uh, all rings and amulet has uh, endurance on it. Nice. Big HP. All righty. Here's the side quest. She's a naiad. Her cave is poisoned by spiders. Uh, here's the quest monsters. You can see they're purple and glowy. They've got a, a web that they can use, a poison gas bomb, and their melee attacks are pretty dangerous. But uh, our dragon's flame is near full power, so it should be no problem to kill him. Nice. Good damage, boys. Easy. You have cleansed the poison from the cave. Once you turn in the quest, we can go ahead and port back to town with the unstuck button. We can continue farming or move on up the path. Nice job, gamers. Uh, here we are outside of Chijia. Uh Up here to the north, it, usually a shrine spawns. Sometimes you get unlucky. There's plenty of satyrs here. Off to the right is a, a tomb we're going to clear. Oh, nice. Hair splitter. Nice. Uh, here's the undeads I was talking about. And then down below is a giant cave. In the back is a, is a mage hero monster that always spawns. It's pretty big. Lots of captains here. Wait for your dragon's flame down pretty easy all right gamers level eight acquired we're just going to climb the bar 
Again, we're going for Shen Pao, so it's kind of a, a slog, but uh, just keep climbing the bar. We'll, we'll be there in no time. All right, here, here's the uh, ancient tomb that I was talking about. We've got some undeads and captains can spawn here. Uh, clump them up and do your dragon's flame. In the back, like I said, is a is a mage monster that's always here. He's guarding a box. There's lots of sepulchers. Uh, one thing to pay attention to is he's got a reflection aura. You can see he adds it to his his uh, friendlies. Uh, shouldn't be too bad though. We don't do tons of burst damage. We do damage over time. Just whack away. Big damage. Big slam. Nice, and he's dead. Good job, gamers. He's got a high drop chance for charms. He's got a nice box most of the time. You guys can farm in here if you want. Full clear, open all these boxes, but when you're done, we can unstuck button out and uh, move on the path. All right, gamers, moving on. We have entered into Catland. This is Magara Bluff. Uh, satyrs can spawn here as well. Unfortunately, we got the cats. Okay, we're on Megara Coast. We've got turtles and ichthians. At the end of the coast is the actual city of Megara. It's exciting because we get an inventory upgrade. We get our first bag. Feels good. Line them up, knock them down. Ooh. All right, gamers, here we are, city of Megara. Nice. We've got Pick up some quests. Here's the main quest here. So. This guy gives you the bag. See, inventory increased. Uh, portals up here. Another side quest is here. Everyone's old and the three um, one more side quest down below. The truth is, uh, check the vendors for some upgrades. Sword and shield, not your style. Uh, ideally, we're looking for looking a hat for with here. recharge. Uh, called concentration of concentration. If you guys don't have movement speed on boots of travel, uh, you can farm that for that here. Uh, still looking for health uh, items as well. That that'll help. Um, yeah, just pick up some pots and we can move on. Okay, gamers, once you're done in Megara, uh, this area is populated with skeletons and main ads, uh, and sometimes satyrs. Looks like we got the main ads again. We are in Catland. There's a shrine that can spawn here. We want to farm this area until level 10. Uh, so there's an area coming up afterwards. We can also get lots of XP in. Uh, there's a Cyclops coming up, one of the bosses. Uh, we want to make sure we're level 10 for him. It just makes us a little bit more powerful. Okay, just climb the bar, boys. Just climb the bar. All right, here we are, Old Eleusius. Um, side quest is in here. Three skeleton brothers. Three skeleton brothers. All right, here's, here's the first of the three brothers. He's got a rally. Can we kill him before he heals? Oh, nope, no way. Sometimes he doesn't heal right away. Sometimes he heals right away. Just kill him, boys. Nice job, gamers. Uh, he's a mage. Just go ahead and LOS him. It's just easier. Couple of couple of breaths later, and he's dead. Nice, good kill. Good kill, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he's got a he's got a decent staff. Maybe we switch to that. Okay, gamers, here's the last of the three brothers. Uh, he's a ranger, so you can LOS him. He likes to run away. Uh, we are we're also ranged, so no need to be up close. Couple of breath attacks later. Couple of staff attacks, and he'll be dead. Nice job. All right, gamers, here we are, level ten, just before the cyclops. Uh, again, we're going to climb the bar. Our next level, we can get Shen Pao, more AoE, and some elemental damage. Feels good. Okay, crossing the bridge. Got the Cyclops. Kill the Cyclops. All right, we're doing it, gamers. Last Dragon's Flame. He'll be dead. He'll be dead. Look at that. And he's dead. Nice job, gamers. We did it. It's dead, isn't it? We did it. All right, collect your loot. It's time to move on. All right, off to the left-hand side is um, a side quest. Lots of ghosts. Kill the ghost, open the box. Side quest will complete. Just clump them all up for a breath, boys. We didn't one-shot them. 
Let's take two. Clump them all up for a breath, boys. The goat helped us. Nice job, gamers. Alrighty, here's Ambrosis Farmlands. We got some satyrs and centaurs again over here. These centaurs can put study prey on you. It's that eyeball on my head. Reduces my resistances. Um, the elders can put down a war banner and stun you. And then you can also be trapped in place. It's a wombo combo. Don't get comboed. All right, up here is a side quest. A gentle dream. This guy will send you into a cave to retrieve his bow. You don't want to skip it because it gives you attribute points. Pretty nice quest. Okay, here's the cave. The cat's right there glowing in purple. If you can get close enough, you can just cheese it with your staff. Easy. Just get it. Nice job, gamers. Pick up the bow. We can move on. We can get Shen Pao now. Nice. Okay, one point bar, two points Shen Pao. Now we've got two abilities. Uh, we're just going to full clear this uh, farm. Big damage. Big damage. Shen Pao OP, boys. All right, here's Village of Embrasses. We've got two side quests here. Uh, here's the first one. He's sending you to a blacksmith. A blacksmith of remark. Uh, up here's a vendor and another side quest. This guy is missing his goods. I was on my way from Delphi with some goods. Uh, I see you we'll go ahead and sell our inventory. Pick up some pots if we need to. I might it's time to move on. To suit your needs. All right, gamers. Here's the next part of the uh, quest. This guy's grove is on fire. Up atop uh, his grove is a. Uh, spider causing all the problems. We'll go ahead and kill him. Just use your Shen Pao. Killing the spider. Almost dead. Yes. Nice job, gamers. Tons of loot here. Don't forget to pick up the olive branch that's required for the quest. Uh, pick up your loot and we can continue on. Uh, to the left hand side down here is a uh, side quest to complete. We've got uh, some undeads guarding a box. This is the man's loot. Uh, once you open one of the boxes, the quest will complete, but you still want to clear out these guys. There we go, quest, quest complete. This area is a little dangerous because uh, here captains can spawn. Here's here's one back there. We got plenty of damage though, should be no problem. Nice job, gamers. All right, gamers, here we are in the swamps. Got some more ichthians and some turtles. Uh, this is the first area that you can organically find, uh, like the shaman variant of ichthians. You can find random spawns sprinkled in elsewhere, but they, they naturally start spawning here. Up up here north is a spicy cave to go into. Lots of treasure, lots of monsters. Uh, you guys should go in there. Tell me what you find. Yeah, hey, look what it is. Look what it is. <laughs> yes. Staff of the Magi, boys. Just get it. It's only 14% on the roll. But hey, it's 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 14% cooldown. Oh, and we're about to level up. Perfect. Here's the hero monster in the back of the cave. Just slam and jam, boys. Just slam and jam. Nice. Perfect level up. Okay. Uh, we can keep slamming points in Shen Pao. If you guys are feeling weak still, you can pick up Aura of Tranquility for some for some damage absorption um, and some Fizz Res, Ellie Res. This is something we will pick up later, but for this build, uh, no need to pick it up now. All right, gamers. Here we are in the city of Delphi. There's a couple of cool things to note here. The main quest turn-in gives you 5% permanent resistance. Uh, to elemental or um, poison damage. Let's see what we get. We got uh, cold res. Here's the next part of the main quest. Uh, another good thing to point out in this town is we come across a NPC called the Mystic, this blue orb guy here. Dissolve your past. You can spend gold to remove points in your skills that you don't want to use. 
Uh, you cannot remove points from the bar, but and you cannot remove your mastery, but you can reallocate skill points. It's pretty nice. Your choices. Uh, have go ahead made. and activate the portal, do some shopping, and we can move on. Alrighty, here we are in the Parnassus Caves. There's bats and rats and spiders. Oh my. Uh, one side quest to do in here. I'll go ahead and show that, show that location. Uh, you turn that back in at Delphi. I'll also show that. Lots of XP to get. We want to be level 14 by Athens. Uh, which is pretty easy to do. Alright gamers. Here's the uh, side quest monster. Master of the flame. He's just a beastman. Go ahead and kill him. The turn in's back in Delphi. We'll finish the cave before we turn it in. Nice. Uh, pick up your loot. Oh, dang. Mountaineers. Nice. Yo, uh, warriors. Uh, just get mountaineers. All right, gamers. Here we are outside of the Parnassus Caves. Once, you're, once you get this fountain, go ahead and port back to Delphi. We got that quest to turn in. Okay, down here is the quest turn in. I dreamt of my husband. She dreamt of her husband again. Guys, go ahead and port back to the fountain and we can continue. This We are deep into Catland, boys. Alrighty, up here we've got a dangerous hero monster called Lycia, Spellbreaker. She removes buffs that you might have with a, an ability called Spellbreaker. It also puts your spells on cooldown, uh, so we'll have to be careful here. Shouldn't be too hard, though. Not enough energy. What a, what a turd. Nice. Lycia is dead. We did it. All right, here we are. Lower war camp. Lots of monsters here. Again, we want to be level 14 by the time we get to Athens. I'm literally about to ding to 13. So just a little bit of farming, a little bit of monster killing, and we'll be, we'll be right on schedule. All right, again, uh, level 13. We're just going to pump points into Shen Pao. Uh, you want to make this as strong as possible. All right, in the upper war camp, again, it's uh, lots of undeads and lots of monsters. There's plenty of XP to get here. Uh, we've got a boss coming up. It's three Gorgons, Medusa, Uriel, and Sathena. Here we are right outside the Pythian Caves. There is a boss in here called the Gorgon Queens. They've got Medusa. Uriel and Sitheno. Uh, this boss can drop an item called the Stonebinder's Cuffs. Plus one to skills on Bracers. Very, very nice. People, Some people farm it here. Uh, I don't think we will on this character because we don't kill bosses insanely fast. Uriel up here on the top right of the screen. She's the healer. You want to kill her first. Time to Shen Pao. Don't get Medusa. All right, Uriel's dead. You could go on to whoever next. I usually say Sitheno because she's the one that's in your face all the time. Nice. Last one, boys. Alright, you got a bolt. There it is. Nice. Level 14. Nice job, gamers. We did it. Your inventory is full. We did it. All right, gamers, here we are outside the Athenian Passage. Uh, go ahead and restock on potions, clear out your inventory. We can move on. All right, gamers, here's two side quests up here. This guy's trapped a Lemos, too afraid to kill it. Hold on there. Uh, this guy here, he's an irresponsible captain, lost his scouts in the swamp. We sent a scouting party. We'll take care of both of these quests. Uh, first up, here's the Lemos. He's got a life leech and a, po and a poison bomb. <laughs> And his melees are pretty juicy. We don't want to auto, like, we don't want to face tank him too much. Uh, make sure you keep Dragon's Breath available so he misses. Steven, my new editor, please make this look fantastic. Thank you. Good. Nice job, gamers. No problem at all. You, you, you how did you do that? When you went in? Any hailers in chat? You there? All right, once you pick up that quest, we can go back and turn it in, and we can move on towards Athens. I was in the swamp. You were in the swamp? Yes. 
here we are in the monster encampment below Athens. There's lots of satyrs here, lots of centaurs. You guys can get plenty of XP. Again, we want to be level 14. We're going on 15 here, so I'm not going to grow. Up to the north is the fountain. We'll activate that fountain so we can farm this area. On the left-hand side is Athens Mortuary. We got lots of undeads here. Just group them up. Shen pow them down. Shen pow. Uh, we've got a tomb back here. It's worth mentioning. There's a hero monster always in the back. His name's Jacinto. He has a high drop chance for Act 1 charms. Good place to farm for charms. I'll go ahead and show you guys that. Okay, here's Jacinto. He's got poison. Most poisons have slow components to it. This guy slows you way down. Just Shen Pao. Couple of breaths. Couple of Shen Pao's later. This guy will go straight down. There we are. He's dead. Oh, and he dropped a charm. Like I said, pretty high drop chance. Yes! Level 15. We're over leveled, boys. It's official. Uh, okay, if you're like me and you forgot to spend your points, we're just slamming uh, Shen Pao. The last couple of points in Shen Pao. Uh, we're going to one point aura of tranquility. It's good to get some defenses at some point. Um, especially moving on, you're going to need aura of tranquility. Fizz res, Eli res, and some damage absorption. This costs active energy. So to kind of combat that, we want to get one point potent elixir. All right, gamers, here we are. We finally made it. Just outside of Athens, talk to Leonidas. Ah, it's you. He'll let you in. Now there's a pack of uh, undead monsters up here. Go ahead and help the guards out. They're they're a little busy right now. Yes. Five floors of the catacombs. At the bottom of the catacombs is Alistair, undead boss. Easy. easy. Yo, we got elemental damage. This man's gonna get slapped. How many curses? My bet is one. Okay, four is clean so far. Oh, dude, it's the one! Zero curses! Yo, these sepulchers, when they're cursed, the run is cursed. Alright, gamers. Beyond this door lies Alistair. You know what to do. Cut his throat. Kill him, boys! Okay, he summons minions, and while you're in his uh, melee range, he has a life drain aura. Just keep drinking pots. Slamming Shen Pao, drinking some pots. Kill this boy. One more Shen Pao and he's dead. He's dead! <laughs> yes! Nice. Oh, he, he had four pieces on. Nice. Nice. Alrighty. Dude, that's some terrible loot. Some terrible loot. Alright, go ahead and turn in your quest, collect your loot, and we can move on. We're ready for the docks. We're almost done with Act 1, boys. Woohoo! Mysterious warrior. Woohoo! Oh, ritual necklace. Nice! Yo, gamers, just get ritual a necklace. Buy it from the store shop if you have to. Alrighty, here we are, the Athens docks, boys. Just a few more Gorgons to kill, and then we can move on to Gnosis. Gnosis is the final area of Act 1. Alright, once you're in town, go ahead and pick up the side quests. There's two here. Make sure you have the portal activated and the fountain. Uh, down below the town on this bluff, there's some birds. Pristine plumage, disease plumage. Pretty good place to farm both. Get your plumages on, boys. Okay, gamers, here we are in Triton's Ridge, killing some more cats. Uh, just down here to the south is a cave. Inside this cave, we can uh, accomplish a side quest. This guy lost his staff. A spider stole it. Yes, I... We'll go in this cave, kill the spider, take the staff. Uh, here's the quest, spider. Take him down. Take him down. Doing the damn. Okay, in this box is the staff. Go ahead and pick that thing up when it settles. Turn in the quest and we can move on. Aha. Oh, dude, nice. A big, big bada boom level up. Nice job, gamers. Level 16. Like one point smoke cloud for some uh, utility. You guys can also pick up inner equilibrium. Uh, and then the last point could either be in the bar. You can pick up uh, Jin Chan. 
Uh, I think I'm going to put one more point in Aura of Tranquility. All right, gamers, here's the uh, next side quest in this ancient tomb. We've got a skeleton monster to kill. He's the tyrant. Kill the tyrant. Here's the back of the tomb. We've got uh, the, the tyrant in the back. He's trying to set up an ambush. Just kill him. Spring the trap. Kill the tyrant. Uh, you guys don't want to face tank this guy too much. He uh, stacks Onslaught. A couple of Shen Pals, though. He'll go down. Nice job, gamers. We killed him. Okay, gamers. Cross this bridge. There's one final vendor before well, Nasus Palace. Restock on some potions. Sell your items. We can move on. Alrighty, here we are. Nasus Palace. Lots of undeads here. Uh, at the end of this palace is the entrance to Minoan Labyrinth. It's literally a maze. The last part of Act 1. Big XP. Alrighty, here we are entering into the Minoan Labyrinth. We did it. Uh, this place is literally a maze. At the end, there's the Minotaur boss. After the Minotaur boss is the final boss of Act 1. The Act 1 Telkin. Uh, there's lots of XP to get here. Uh, we're, we're probably only going to level up one more time. Level 17 will be the end of this guide, essentially. And uh, yeah, we're almost done. We're almost done, guys. Hello? <laughs> Just get Stonebinder's Cups. <laughs> Dude, it's so good. It's so good. Just get them. <laughs> Oh, dude, it's so good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, gamers, here we are, middle of the Minoan Labyrinth. You can see here the entrance to the Labyrinth is here. I'm at this fountain here. Uh, this fountain is important because when you get these constructs and gorgons to spawn, uh, it's a good place to farm stone binders cuffs. You kill these geomancers and profaners, the green and the orange ones. And a, a super unique item... Uh, called stone binders cuffs can drop plus one to skills always rolls with elemental resist and plus to skills very coveted very sought after uh, this is my favorite place to farm them just wanted to show you guys that all right see you at the minotaur bye all right gamers here we are just beyond this door here is the uh, minotaur boss we made it to the end of the minoan labyrinth um he's got four traps you want to kill one of the traps to give you a little bit of moving room but then we can go in and start killing the boss uh, don't face take this guy too much. Keep your dragon's flame uh, available to make him fumble. He's got uh, pretty pretty savage attacks. Okay, yeah, he ah! also sta <laughs> he also stacks up uh, onslaught charges. The more rings he has around him, the harder he hits. So try to let those fall out if you can. Otherwise, just keep up dragon's flame. Keep his keep his fumble. Couple of Shen Pals, couple of uh, Dragon's Flame later, and he go he goes down. Not too bad. Nice job, gamers. Go ahead and clean up the room. We can get some loot and move on. Alrighty, here we are. Room of the Conduit. This is the last boss. It's the Act 1 Telkin, guys. Um, before the fight becomes activated, he starts with these constructs. Uh, we gotta kill four of them first before we kill Telkin. Go ahead and group them up, Shen Pao. Do your Dragon's Flame. They go down pretty quick. Nice. Okay, the Constructs are dead. Now the Telkin is activated. Uh, he only does a couple abilities. Uh, the Thunderball that you just saw there that stuns me. He'll summon Lemos that can heal him if you don't kill him quickly enough. Yeah, there they are. Tank and Spank. Alright, he's almost dead, guys. Keep it up. All right, he's dead. We did it. Nice job. Collect your loot, and we're done. We're done. All right, turn in your quest. We should get a charm here. Which one did we get? Valor of Achilles. Uh, also, just a side note, we get a second bag here. Look at that. We're done with Act 1. Nice job, gamers. Level 17. Uh, here's the boat. Take you to Act 2. Yo, Act 1 single, single mastery Nidan is complete. We did it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.